Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Giles. It is not certain whether Saint Giles was a native of southern France or came there from Greece. He was a holy recluse in a dense forest near Nîmes and is said to have been a cripple. He was discovered by the king of the Franks when on a hunting expedition a wounded deer took refuge in his cave. The saintly old man was persuaded to accept some disciples and for them a monastery was built which he governed as abbot under the benedictine rule on its site grew the city of saint giles innumerable churches were dedicated to saint giles the only saint among the 14 holy helpers who is not a martyr he is called as the chief patron of the poor the cripple the epileptics the sterile blacksmiths and foresters became very popular during the middle ages when numerous healings and miracles came to be reported at his grave at the abbey making the site one of the three greatest pilgrimage places of europe surpassed only by compostela and rome the pilgrimages set in again since 1862 when many of his relics which had been dispersed at the time of the huguenots were returned to the city the rediscovery of his tomb in 1865 providing further impetus